In this section, we'll be using the inverse to solve the following. So we are given a matrix here times an unknown matrix is equal to another matrix. Normally, what we would do here is that we would take the row column multiplication equate to the element positions on the other side. But then, okay, first let me just uh, show you. So what we would normally do is we would take the first row from here and the first column from here and multiply it and equate it to the first element here and so on the second row from here multiply to the first column and equate it to this element here and so we would get lots of equations and we would have to solve them but then there is another way to solve this more smartly how do we do that the first thing that we need to do is we need to see that if this matrix here is inversible or not so first to know that if, if this is invertible what we do is we find out the determinant of this matrix so let's call this matrix or let's not give it a name let's say the determinant of 2 minus 3 4 and 8 is equal to what so one more thing that I would like to let you all know that please do not miss writing this determinant here because that would cut marks in the exam if you do not mention that it, you're actually trying to find out the determinant of this matrix just don't give the matrix and then write your answer of the determinant here like 2 times 8 minus minus 3 times 4 don't do this workout if you're not writing here determinant so please take care that you write the word determinant there and then here the determinant is 16 minus or minus into minus plus so we have 16 plus 12 which is equal to 28 and since this is not equal to 0 therefore this matrix has an inverse so let us find out the inverse of this matrix so what would be the inverse of this matrix here it's equal to 1 over determinant times the matrix cofactors so the cofactor here I won't I wouldn't show you how to find the cofactor but for a 2 by 2 matrix it's easy to know the cofactors so what we do is we take the 8 above here from down and we push the 2 down here and we change the signs of these two elements here so those are the cofactors and then what we get here is 1 over 28 times 8 minus 4 3 and 2 and that is equal to 8 over 28 minus 4 over 28 3 over 28 and 2 over 28 so that's our inverse now how do we smartly solve this equation here what we do here is that let me first explain you the concept so you know that a times b times c is equal to b times c times or um, let's keep here a times b times c so in any order it doesn't matter they both are equal so as you can say if I'm saying that this both are equal which means this let's just represent as an object is equal to this object here which is a times b times c is equal to a times b times c right no matter which you multiply first so this is both are equal now let me just maybe represent this differently now, if we multiply anything to this like the same matrix so the same matrix a this side and the same matrix a on this side the answer will still be the same they will be equal to each other now instead of a here what if we multiply a inverse 
to our both the sides that we have got in this equation here so let's do that and see what we get we multiply a inverse on both the sides and that will still keep it equal like no matter we now because this equation says that this side here this side here is equal to the right side here so even if we just multiply a inverse to this both the sides it would still remain the same it will still be equal to each other right so now let's write here our a inverse which is 8 8 over 28 minus 4 over 28 3 over 28 and 2 over 28 times the matrix which is 2 minus 3 4 8 times the unknown matrix which is W X Y and Z should be equal to if we are multiplying the A inverse this side again that's 8 over 28 minus 4 over 28 3 over 28 and 2 over 28 times we had this side the matrix 1 2 3 and 4 now we know that if we multiply here which is a inverse times a here this both will give us the identity matrix right so here multiplication of this two will give us the identity matrix 1 0 0 1 times the unknown matrix that's w x y and z is equal to the multiplication of this two matrix here which gives us 17 over 28 1 over 14 and 1 and 0 here now identity matrix times any matrix will give us the same matrix so here the identity matrix times w x y z will be w x y z so that's equal to 17 over 28 1 1 over 14 and 0 so that's the unknown matrix of us and that's a smart way of solving the equation here and that's the end of this section